the season's over, contracts are coming to an end. This is my um, views on who I think should be offered a new deal and who I think should be just released out of the contracts in front of me that I believe are all correct. Um, also with the two loanees that we have out when they return what I will do with those and I have a couple of players that I would like to bring in on uh, free, free transfers as well so uh, yeah strap yourselves in and hope you enjoy this is the keeping it tuned YouTube channel my name is Jason and welcome Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome in, as I've previously said. Um, we're going to go straight into this. I'm not going to bring up any pictures in this uh, this time round. I'm just going to go straight into this. Try and make this as short as possible. Uh, I wanted to record a video, but I didn't really know what the subject to do it on. I don't want to do it about the big six crap going on. Uh, personally, well, if I, if I had my views in it, personally, I would like them to have been uh, dealt what Rangers was dealt with, or how Rangers was dealt with uh, when they got demoted to the League 2. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that happen, but we all know the Premier League are cowards. Uh, the Premier League's corrupt, as m many would say. Um, but yeah, whatever, everyone's going to rant about that, so I want to do something a little different, I, as I said, I didn't know what I was going to, what to do, uh, so I decided to just talk about the contracts, the players that are going out of contract, they are current players on loan, and a couple of players that I would like to, uh, come to Newcastle, uh, as a, I've got four players on my list, Obviously, I will uh, add to that, but these four I feel would uh, help the team. Maybe this is my views. Obviously, uh, many of you might not agree, but this is what I think. So, firstly, we're going to go on to the contracts. Our players are out of contract, and we're going to start. Well, let's get the first two out of the way, which is uh, Christian Atsu and Henri Save. Uh, they've left. We know that. Uh, would I have kept them? No. Uh, so that that's that out of the way. Done and dusted. Um, Save never really had the chance. He gets brought by Steve McLaren. He played a couple, a few, made a couple, a few subs appearances. And he's just been lost ever since. He's, he's nowhere to be found. So it's finally a big sigh of relief to see him go and um, have his not having to fork out on his wages so much. As for Christian Atsu, he let's be fair. He has been great for us. He gets the gets the stick by being. What's the word I'm looking for? He gets stick by... He's not always toting up. But he has done a lot for us, if you think about it. He's scored plenty of, plenty of goals. He's scored a fair amount of goals. He was one of our key players back in the championship. Uh, he didn't feature much in the Premier League. But he's always been in and around the team. And it's only through this season that he's... Not, failed to make an appearance so obviously it, it's time that he moves on but uh, we do thank Christian Atsu a lot well, I do anyway I think he's been brilliant for us so it is sad to see him go but would I have given him another contract no I wouldn't I yeah I, I wouldn't have given him another contract he'd probably be a like an impact kind of sub so that would be my views on Christian Atsu. 
So uh, two out of the, oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Two out of my six. I did have seven, but uh, I realized that one had already had their contract. Uh, they had an option to have a year uh, extension onto their deal and that was activated, which was Paul Dummett, uh, if I'm correct in reading that. So, we ain't going to talk about Paul Dummett. Apparently, he's had a year extension on his deal, which runs out next summer. So, we haven't got to worry about that, which I'm glad because I would have, if his contract was up, I would have said to definitely give him a new deal. Uh, so, we've got three out of the seven, might as well just say seven, three out of the seven already sorted on to number four and it is this guy Andy Carroll okay Andy Carroll when he burst onto the scene as a youth he was a breath of fresh air we finally had someone coming through the ranks someone worthy of that number nine I believe he wanted that number nine he finally gets given the number nine. He is starting to score goals for fun. He was amazing. Then he left. And things went to shit. Okay, he may have had an okay spell at Liverpool. Um, he did okay at West Ham. But he started getting injured a lot. He started missing a lot. He became one of those players that would keep the physio bench warm for everyone else. And um, he still could score goals. But uh, one in two seasons for us since returning. Yeah. We're not going to get goals out of him anymore. Um... Is he still a Premier League striker? Mm, if he goes to a smaller team, no disrespect to anyone in the in the Premier League, but if he goes to a smaller team, he may do better. If not, I believe Championship would be his... Um, Really lost for words here. This is straight off off the moment. Uh, if he goes to a championship, you'll most likely get two, three seasons out of him at best, providing that he can stay fit. Uh, there is a rumor going around that he is uh, wanting to retire from uh, football altogether next summer, so he wants to only do one more season. But then he also wants to go into coaching thereafter. And he wants to be coaching at Newcastle. Which is not really go down well with his missus who wants to return down to London. So how that goes we don't know. Personally I do not want him having another contract. Why? Why? It's a waste of uh, wages, uh, even though it's a pay as you play, but it's a waste of wages. He's barely getting games now. As I said, he's got one goal in two seasons. Uh, that was a goal, a, co oh, a, cons a constellation. It was a constellation goal against Leicester, I believe it was. And uh, we lost that game. And that's all we've pretty much seen of him. The only time he got such a great uh, response was on his uh, debut when he came on as a sub when he f signed back. And uh, that's it. That's all we've, we've had from him. He's made a few assists. That just popped into my head there. He made a, few, a, good, a good few uh, assists last season. He's not really done anything this season. Nothing too impressive. Or if anything at all. Uh, I would not give him a new contract. I would release him. Um, let him do another season with another club. And maybe bring him in as a coach. 
I'd lean more towards that than giving him a player coach role. Um, but yeah, I think championship would be better for Andy Carroll at this time. Uh, his age is not doing him any uh, good. He's getting on now, close to the point where uh, outfield players would tend to think about retirement. Unless you're Teddy Sheringham and you can play into your 40s, or there's this guy in uh, Japan, or this Japanese player, sorry, that uh, he's way into his 40s, maybe 50s, I believe it was. That he's a striker and he's still playing to this day and signing. He plays for Yokohama City, Yokohama FC, I believe it. I, yeah. Uh, so, unless you're Teddy, Teddy Sheringham or, or that guy, or any others, you can carry on going. But you're going to have to drop down the leagues. Uh, Andy Carroll is not right. For, not not a good fit for us. He's not going to come on as a sub. Um. He's not going to be a regular first team player. He's going to be a backup at best. If he, if well, he's already is a backup at best. And the more we bring in, the more he uh, goes down to the back of the line uh, for getting a chance to play. So I wouldn't give him no. I, I wouldn't give him a contract. And that's all I've got to say about Andy Carroll. Contract for Carroll? No. Release? Yes. Send him to a... Well, not send him. Let him go to a lower league team. Get a good season under his belt to finish off his career. And would I take him as a coach? Most likely. If he can... Do anything decent. But, uh... That's in the future. This is now. And my answer is no to a new deal for Andy Carroll. And so we move on to our next person. And that is Dwight Gale. It was reported a little while ago. Well, not a little while ago. A fair while ago. That he had had an extension on his deal. But that all seems to have been maybe a lie. Because now there's talk of a three-year deal being placed on the table for him. And it seems to be that they want him... Well, we want him to sign a new three-year deal. So that we can get money for him to move him on. Which I feel is a little unfair in all seriousness. Um, we're not going to get a great deal for him. He's not really played much you've got Steve Bruce saying that he has attempted to sign Gale for well three to four different times at numerous clubs he's a big admirer of Dwight Gale and he's had no excuses not to play him well he's had no excuses why he shouldn't have played him um yeah, he's not played him. He's always gone in favour of Joel Linton. Um, me, I uh, I do like Dwight Gale. I think he is a great player. And when in form, he can score a lot of goals. And no one can deny that. He does score goals. But he has struggled in the Premier League. I will admit that. And everyone else will admit that. In the Championship, he will score goals for fun. He will run rings around you. He will get 10 plus goals a season in the championship. In the Premier League. Uh, five, six goals maybe. But he does get you goals. He does run. But he hasn't had that many games. He needs to be a regular first team player. And the way we're going. That doesn't seem to be. Uh, the right option for him because he is just a well, again an impact sub at best not even a super sub uh, apart from that goal against West Brom now that was a super sub and that was a nice goal but um, 
Would I sign him on a three year deal and sell him? Part of me says yes because I want well, we could we could do with the funds. We need the money. Um and part of me says no. We should just release him. It releases up all those wages again. And it lets him move on to another club, ASAP. So it gets him off of our books. Um, like I said, I'm a big admirer. Well, yes, I'm a big admirer of Dwight Gale. I do like him. I think he is a great player. I think he was a good signing for us. Uh, I've always stuck by him. I always want to pick him for my teams. But I do think it is time that he moves on again because of his age. Uh, we do like to have the younger options. Um, so yes, Dwight Gal would be a no for me in order to uh, sign in a new deal. So I would release. I wouldn't. I. I would see it as a bit of disrespectful to uh, sign a new deal only to be gotten rid of. I'll just say, to be honest, if you're going to get rid of me anyway, then I'm just not going to sign the deal. I'm just going to walk. I'll just go somewhere else for free. Simple as. So, how much could we get for him? We signed him for... Uh, signing along the lines of 10 mil from uh, Crystal Palace um, I probably say we could get between 5 and 8 mil for him at best may think I've gone a bit crazy there maybe I have because of all this heat but I I would say between 5 and 8 mil we could get for him if he was to sign a new deal. And then uh, flog him in the summer. But it's not really going to go towards much when we've, when we've got our only... Apparently we've only got 10 mil to spend. How true that is I don't know. But we need... We, need, we do need funds. But... These are the guys that are out of contract. Uh, I do have players that I would sell. And I'd maybe do that in another video or give them a little mention in this one. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, that's Atsu, Carol, Gale, Save. Uh, all would refuse their, to give them a new deal. Damn it, I would keep. I would give a new deal, even though he has already extended his contract, apparently. And uh, move on to our final two. Uh, that is Federico Fernandez and Jacob Murphy. Now, apparently, there's a lot of interest in Jacob Murphy, mainly being from Galatasaray in Turkey. Uh, and to be quite honest, Federico Fernandez and Jacob Murphy, I would offer them both new deals. Uh, if you've seen my last video, Jacob Murphy was one of my best players of the season. He has been starting a lot of games of late. When he first signed, I didn't rate him much. Uh, even though he was a fan of the club, along with his twin brother, uh, Josh. Uh, we signed Jacob, and he didn't have the best of starts to his uh, season, or his career at the club. Uh, he got shipped out on loan a couple of times. He hasn't really featured a great deal, but this season, he has featured a lot, and he's done really well for himself. He has opened my eyes to see how good he really is and how good he can really be. Uh, I would definitely give him a new contract. He's only 26 years of age. So give him another 
two, three year deal contract. Um, Federico Fernandez, yes, he's over the age of 30, but he is one of our best defenders, I personally think. He's strong, he gets into his positions well, he has a good, well, he can tackle well. He hasn't scored many, but he does get in those areas. Federico Fernandez it definitely deserves a one-year extension. Maybe a two-year extension. Try and keep him for the rest of his career, maybe. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'd, he'd want to stay. There is reports that he has been offered a, a one-year extension, but he has yet to uh, agree to it or not. How true it is, I don't know, so don't shoot me for that. Uh, but there is a lot of interest in Jacob Murphy, so I'd want to tie him down to a new deal ASAP before uh, anything gets too serious about that. And that is basically it for all of my, well, for all the out of contract players that I know of. So it's only three out of the seven that deserve new deals for me. That being Federico Fernandez. Jacob Murphy and Paul Dummett with Andy Carroll, Dwight Gow, Christian Atsu and Henri Save all being released. We don't we don't want them. I don't want them. So now we move on to our loan players that will be returning, hopefully. Uh, we've got Florian Lejean and we have Yoshinori Muto. I think we've all forgotten about Muto, to be honest. Uh, Lejeune, 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 however you want to pronounce his name. Florian. I would definitely want to keep him, and I would definitely want him to be a part of the team next season. Uh, I think a Lejeune and Fernandez partnership would be quite a sight to see. Uh... Lejeune is one of our better defenders. And I don't know why he was put out on loan. Uh, the excuse was to get him fit. Yet, we were crying out for defenders with the amount of injuries we were getting. And I don't think that we had the option to recall him. But I would definitely like to keep a hold of him. And have him play a key role next season. Again, he is one of our better defenders. And we could potentially get a f quite a decent uh, amount of money for him. But he is definitely one that I would like to keep. Uh, would you like to keep him or not? What you will do is leave your comments down below, guys. Uh, as for Yoshinori Muto, he has never been given the goddamn chance to be a part of this team. He gets a couple of starts here and there. He gets a couple of sub appearances and then he's missing for weeks on end. I feel so sorry for this guy. I want to see him play for this club. Many of us are screaming out to see him play for this club. We want to see him on a more regular basis playing for this club. Give him more chances or sell him. That is my views on him. I want to see him play more. So I would want to keep him if he is going to be guaranteed more starts regularly. Give him a chance to play alongside uh, alongside Callum Wilson. Let him play. That's all there is to say about that. Let him play. We are calling out for a striker, yet you're not letting Yoshinori Muto play. Give him more chances or sell him. We can get... So I'm probably going to go out on a whim and say we could probably get around about 10 mil for him, perhaps. And we signed him for 
just under 10 mil, about 9.5, if memory serves me right. But I would like to see him being given more chances. I honestly would. I really want to see him play more. And I think he does want to prove himself. But we're not giving him those chances. And that is what frustrates me so, so much. We have players that can potentially do wonders for this club, yet we're not using them. Lejeune and Muto, for me personally, should never have gone out on loan. They should have been part of the first team squad. But we've got Steve Bruce. And we all know that he is absolutely useless. Whatever. Lejeune, keep. Muto, keep. If you're not going to use Muto, sell him. Let him go to somewhere. He's going to get regular first team football and he can represent his country at the World Cup and uh, any other uh, Asian tournaments. But personally, I want to keep him. Uh, that is my out of contract um, list. That is my loan list. And I've got four players that I would like to bring in. Three on loan and one as a transfer. The transfer will most likely won't happen uh, due to funds. But they're who I would like to bring in. And should this takeover, takeover ever happen, uh, we could potentially bring him in. And I think we all know, or you all know, who I'm going to be talking about there. Uh... Just, just get that one out of the way. It's going to be Joe Willock. We've got to bring Joe Willock back. Uh, cap permanent deal would be uh, amazing. We can really build a team around him. He's young. He's energetic. He's had a fabulous time up with us. Every game, every goal that he's scored in, he's put out a little video of himself. Celebrating with the fans as well when the fans finally returned. It he's been amazing. We all love Joe Willock. Bring him in on a permanent deal. That is our demand. That is my demand. Uh if you can't bring him in on a permanent deal, see if we can get another loan deal for the entire season. But put with option to buy at the end of it. That is what we need. Season long loan with an option to buy, and should he perform as well as he did uh, last season, we can buy him. If he fails to do as well as what he did, then there's no problems there. We can just send him back and let Arsenal deal with him how they want. But I feel he would be a, a great success. Uh, On to the free free transfers free free transfers um, I've gone for two former Newcastle players and another one that is over the age of 30 well, I think we've got two players that are over the age of 30 but one of them is not a former Newcastle player for the two former Newcastle players I've gone for Jetro Willems I would love for him to return. He was loved by all of us. He still is loved by all of us. We all demand that he comes home. Um, I would love to see him back in the team. Uh, back in the black and white stripes. I mean, we all remember that goal against Liverpool. It also won goal of the goal of the month. I, I think it was as well, as well as our goal of the season um, he's a great guy he has a great friendship with ASM and although we have Jamal Lewis who's gone a bit out of favour of late 
I think Jamal Lewis can learn a lot from Jetro. So he would be a great addition and have Jetro starting on the left. And uh, he could really mentor uh, Jamal. So Jetro Williams on a free. Yes, he does have injury problems, but that can... We can work on that. We can work on that. Um, next up, we've got Andros Townsend. I would bring him back. He was... Again, he was brilliant for us in, what, the half season that he spent with us from his 12 mil move from Tottenham to Newcastle. He scored some goals. He assisted goals. He was constantly running around. Crystal Palace have released him. I would bring him back. Just think of ASM on one wing. Andros Townsend on the other wing. You got Miggy in the middle in a three man uh, attacking midfield role. What more could you ask for? That would be quite uh, a sight to see for me personally. I still think Andros Townsend can still do it in the Premier League. He's still got a good couple more seasons in him for the Premier League, maybe. Uh, I don't see him drop into the Championship anytime soon, so anyone that can pick him up would be for the Premier League. Uh, I would definitely like to see him return. Uh, again, he's on a free contract, so why not? And finally, which may, may or may not shock people, uh, I've gone for another midfielder. And uh, also on a free release by Man United. And I've gone for Wan Mata. I've liked uh, Mata since his Chelsea days and his Man United uh, career. He scores some amazing goals. He gets himself into positions well. He knows how to hit a ball. And I feel one matter would be a great addition to our squad. Um, I really don't know what else to say about him. I, he, he's he's a great guy. Um, yes, he's over the age of thirty, and we tend to only buy players from what up to le up to level twenty six. Why am I talking gaming style? Up to the age of twenty six. 26, 27 rough ages. Uh, but I think getting one matter on a free would be quite good. There, there is the concern about wages. Maybe he would take a wage drop in order to join us and stay in the Premier League. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't know that any other club are interested in him as it is. So it could be worth jumping in there and having some words of him early and see if we can get something sorted. If we can, great. If we can't, at least we tried. I don't want it to get to uh, deadline day and then the, the countdown goes down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Up we come onto the screen. We couldn't get it over the line. That's all we ever say. I want to see transfers. How I'd want to see... To be honest, I think we need a, a good four to five players. Uh, will we get four to five players? Probably not. Will we get one player? Hmm... Maybe a loan. We tend to go for loans a lot. Uh, we need to free up uh, some funds. We need to get some funds if we've only got 10 mil to spend. Uh, we need this transfer, uh, takeover to happen. Players I would sell. I would probably like to move on Joel Linton. If I'm being quite honest. I think I said that in my last video. I'd want to move on Joel Linton. I want to move on John Joe Shelby. Um, I'd want to promote Matt Ritchie to captain. 
because he shows more heart and more passion. We could get a fair bit of money for them both, maybe. Uh, Joe Linton did improve last season, which was much better than his debut season. But I still don't think he's cut out for the Premier League and he's not worthy of that number nine shirt. Uh, we do need to bring in another striker as a partner or as backup to Callum uh, in case he gets injured again. Uh, I'd also like to uh, sell Ryan Fraser because he just can't be asked. He's been a huge disappointment last season. And I'd want to move him on. Unless he wants to actually pull his finger out of his ass and prove that he can be a part of the team then I'd keep him but if he's going to be as much of a dickhead as he is has been getting himself sent off against Sheffield coming out and saying that uh, Steve Clark is a manager that he's quite happy to run for uh, kind of we don't like Steve Bruce let's face it but that's really being disrespectful to him. Only wanted to sign for us uh, if Callum signed for us. And he's, he's barely featured. He's always a couple of games uh, sent off or a couple of games he's injured. And yet he's fully fit to represent Scotland. Comes back, oh, I'm injured again. Gets called up, perfectly fit again. He's playing us for a fall. He's just doing it for his paycheck. Move him on. We don't want him. I don't want him. Get rid. Not worth it. Free up for some funds there. We could probably get 10, 12 mil for him. Um, so yeah, that's all my, my uh, out of contract players. My loan players returning. My short list of who I'd like to bring in which I've just quickly done right now. So apologies for all the pausing that I've been doing because I've just basically written this all down. I wanted to get a video out and this is the video. <laughs> um, I would have brought, again, sorry for the uh, sniffling. The hay fever has been through the roof today. Uh, same as in my last video. I suffer so badly with hay fever. It is so annoying. Whoever invented hay fever. I hope you get diarrhea. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, that's going to be it for this video guys. Uh, I'm going to try and think up of some content to do. During the Euros. I don't want to do videos for the Euros. Uh, I don't see much use of it. Uh, I'll do videos for the World Cup. Fine. But the Euros, I'm not interested in, to be quite honest. Uh, in my last video, I said France for the to win the Euros. I'm sticking with France for the Euros. And that's as far as it's going to go for the Euros. Uh, I may try to get some guests on for just a quick chat. What they think about the club. Uh, who they feel would be a realistic uh, target to bring in either on a free or to purchase with what little funds that we have and how they're going to improve the team uh, but we'll get to that when the time comes so yeah I hope you all got you, oh, well, lost for words there I hope you all stay safe take care and I will catch you in the next video guys so uh, my name's Jason you've been watching the keeping it to YouTube channel See you later.